And hello everybody, welcome to the Road Runners Victory Lap. I'm Calvin Means and Judy Elliott is here and we got a big crowd behind us. <laughs> and the crowd is gathering as we're getting ready to see the Road Runners and all the festivities surrounding this uh, special event in downtown Dalton. Uh, yes, we are so excited and uh, you know, uh, this is a great turnout here this evening. It's fantastic. Now we're going to be seeing the Road Runners and a lot of other participants. And this is kind of like wing it because we don't know what order exactly they're going to go in. <laughs> really Judy's don't. got a list and we'll try to keep everybody's name straight because everybody all over town, Northwest Georgia, the city, the county, everywhere is so proud of the Roadrunners. A lot of people have turned out. I mean, this is spectacular right around the downtown area and the depot where there'll be some festivities uh, and some introductions and some speeches and all that that we'll have a little later on. That's right, Calvin, and I don't want to uh, forget to thank our sponsors. Oh yeah, they're the ones that made it all possible. And absolutely, and our premier sponsor tonight is the City of Dalton. Definitely want to thank the City of Dalton for helping to coordinate this and put this together. Also, uh, other people that have made the sponsors of the companies, uh, Caldwell Baker, Cunard Realty, Carpet Express, Dalton Plastic Surgery, First Bank of Dalton, Greater Dalton uh, Chamber of Commerce, Hamilton Sports and Medicine, Hamilton Spine Health and Sport, Mirrorville Jewelers, Carpets of Dalton and Furniture of Dalton, Jewelry Exchange, Julian People's Funeral Home, Oakwood, and Oculink, and so many so much support here and we appreciate all the sponsors tonight we've had so much fun at wdnn uh, bringing you uh, the first uh, four basketball games from the nai national tournament and of course the championship game on espn this is a sh very short parade route so yes. it'll be over rather quickly yes but you know we have over uh, i think like 26 participants 27 <laughs> participants in tonight's parade wow so well, that's e good. everybody is excited is everybody excited to see the road back there Leading us off is the Dalton State Police Department. We appreciate everything they do. I know they had a fun time the other night with the big crowd they had there, uh, welcoming the Roadrunners uh, back home. Uh, that was on Wednesday night, and Whitfield County Sheriff's Department is close behind. And of course, we're going to have some uh, old classic cars and some folks. They even got a band that we'll hear here in a moment. A band, uh, the Dalton High School Pat Band. Uh, there's some Dalton State folks waving at us. They are excited to be in the parade. Pick up some sounds of the Dalton High Pep Band. This isn't exactly marching season, so they threw this together at a short notice, I can tell you that. We appreciate what they do. Coming into view, the Brookwood Lions. All right, Brookwood, all the Dalton Public Schools are really excited for the Roadrunners. Oh, There's Jerry the Clown. He's always on TV no matter where you have a parade. Jerry's always around. There's some more little salutes. The North Georgia Roadrunners. I do see the Chick-fil-A cow coming into view here too. You, you can't go anywhere without seeing the Chick-fil-A cow. I sure hope the front of the parade waits for the back of the parade to get here. Hard to, hard to believe that it was so warm just the other day. Christian Heritage School loves the Roadrunners.
coming in to do just a minute. Rage is throwing t-shirts off the back of the vehicle, so he's really popular right now. Rage, of course, is the Roadrunner's mascot. And he's been popular in all the games. All the cheerleaders are on this one. Oh, cheer. The cheerleaders are out there in Kansas City the whole time, and you could hear them on TV no matter what the game was. Here's Rage and the Dalton uh, State cheerleaders. More congratulations in store. <laughs> the respiratory therapist program at Dalton State. Here comes uh, the fraternity. You know how to say all these Greek letters, Judy? Yes. Hey, how are you? Alpha love for the Roadrunners. Homecoming Queen. Here comes the Whitfield County Fire Department. I'm telling you, how proud are we of the Roadrunners? I mean, the whole community is proud. Is. We just love it. I know it was so exciting to watch them this year. I made most all the home games and a few of the road games. And, of course, everybody was watching everything. Here comes Dr. Schwinn and some of the folks. Uh, say Dr. Schwinn is the one that really got this all started. Dr. Schwinn, Hi. how you doing? Hi. Hey, Dr. Schwinn. Hey, Mr. Schwinn. Hey there. Here's some of the fans. All right. All right, Roadrunners, yeah, yeah. Dalton State Veterans Group, the Veterans Group. It's really, everybody is really narrowed out like they do the Christmas parades. You can barely see some. Phi Beta Lambda, the Chemistry Club. These are some of the clubs and organizations at Dalton State that have their uh, groups in the parade. <laughs> Here comes some of the alumni groups. This is the team of Roadrunners coming right here. We've got a cameraman on the truck with them, so we'll get to see a lot of that. And of course, this one, here come the Roadrunners. Of course, there's Coach Redmond and the other. Boy, they, what an exciting group they are. I think we got a bucket truck with a few people in it. I don't know where Tony Engel is. Hard to tell where he's at, but I know Derek Waugh and some others. I think, well, who they put up there? They put, one of the Roadrunners is up in the bucket truck. There's Derek Waugh walking along. There's Mr. Yeah. Beep Beep himself right there, Derek Wall. Say hi, Derek. All right, Beep Beep. There you go. <laughs> All right, I want to talk about our sponsors here this evening. The City of Dalton, premier sponsor here tonight, Caldwell Bankers, Canard Realty, Carpet Express, Dalton Plastic Surgery, First Bank of Dalton, Greater Dalton Chamber of Commerce, Hamilton Sports Medicine, Hamilton Spine Health and Sport, 
Miraville Jewelers, Carpets of Dalton and Furniture of Dalton, Jewelry Exchange, Julian People's Funeral Home, Oakwood, and Opke Lake. Here comes Sean Tate. No. Here comes the Roadrunner, one of the lead scorer. See who else is up there with him. We went see that Dennis Hart, the mayor of Dalton, is up there in the fire truck. and there's the end of the parade. Now we're going to make our way down to the stage area where there's going to be a presentation. Stay with us. How does it feel to be a college town? This town, this town gown relationship is important. That's why we threw this parade. Dalton State success is all of our success. So if they do something great, like what just happened, we're gonna throw a parade. So this, this evening we have a few speakers to talk about the team. Uh, we're going to be led by uh, Dr. Swin. He'll be followed by Tony Engel, and then Mayor Mock will have a few words as well. It's a fantastic day in Dalton. I, the one I want to thank the cheerleaders for their trip to uh, Kansas City. For those of us, the fans that were in the uh, bleachers, they kept us going. In fact, I don't think the last day, the last game we ever sat down once because they kept us going. So they deserve a good round of applause too. We all know, we, we all know how athletic and the great athletes that we have among us. But there's also another side that I don't think you all know about and I want to talk about for just a minute. And that is that their character. Judy and I uh, moved into the uh, host hotel uh, a couple days before the end of the tournament and by pure chance we were on the same floor that all the players were and they were they were respectful they were uh, very welcoming they all spoke to us and they behaved just like you would want to have when with any other group representing you and when during the when uh, Jordan was named the most valuable player the first The first thing he did was run up into the stands and hug his mother. <laughs> and I'm sure you all read where it said, where, Tone, where Coach Ingalls said that uh, on Sunday their legs were like rubber, they'd been uh, practiced to death, they were all just exhausted, and they had the afternoon off to be able to relax recoup and, in, and enjoy themselves. And you know what they did? <clears throat> they worked with Special Olympics, special needs students. <laughs> these were kids who, these are kids that will never be up here like this and they spent their free time helping them. And I, so they, that just shows you how fantastic their character is. Now, um, I'm sure that you all read the editorial in the paper that said it takes more than just the coach and the athletic director, and we have the best coach and the best athletic director in the entire country. <laughs> but there's, it takes a whole village, as the paper said, and there are lots of people that are behind the, the assistant coaches. There's the people in the back office, with Natima and Richard and Elizabeth and um, uh, Bob and everybody else, and I'm not going to name any more because I'll forget somebody, but everybody behind that does it. But that's just not it either because they all live in the residence halls and all our staff in the residence halls 
uh, the RAs that are, are also help forming these fantastic young men that we have here. In addition to that, as you walk across campus, you can see the advisors and the people in enrollment services and student affairs and all of the staff everywhere across campus. Anytime anyone has an uh, interaction with one of our athletes, it's positive and they help shape them into the men that you see up here today. The, <clears throat> I can't forget the faculty either because at Dalton State, we give all of our students an excellent education. These men have to do everything. They have to have the rigor. They have every single thing that every other student has. We're not like the, the bigger universities you read in the paper where they have phantom courses and people don't do anything. These guys work. But I want you all to know that a, I guarantee that every single citizen of Dalton and Whitfield County this week is a member of the Roadrunner Nation. Hey, y'all, I'm actually I'm from the Southern States Athletic Conference. For those of you who don't know, that's the conference that Dalton State's a part of, and I'm the assistant commissioner. Um, I had the pleasure of being up in Kansas City all week watching these guys play some great basketball and also watching our other teams. We actually had six teams up in Kansas City between men's and women's basketball, so our conference was well represented. But these guys came out on top and just really showed uh, kind of the great basketball and the great athletic prowess that our conference is proud of. Um, as a second year member, I can honestly say that you guys have built one of the better athletic departments in our conference, and I think a big part of that is the fan base that you guys have behind it and the city that you have behind your school. That's something that a lot of our schools, you know, don't have that, you know, that great fortune to have, you know, a thousand or fifteen hundred people coming out to a basketball game like you guys have here in Dalton. I think that's something that's great to have this community behind y'all. Don't want to take a lot of your time, just want to congratulate these guys and I'm happy to be here. Who's number one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, Coach Redmond, hold up your hand. Uh, this is John Redmond. Yeah, Coach, great man. We really appreciate everything that he does, works so hard. Tony Jr., hold up your hand. Right there's Tony. Now, Tony's my son, and I told him not to say anything to you, so if he's acting quiet, that's why he's doing it. I don't want to run the image. I told him, I said, some of these people think I'm a respectable citizen. And, and, and the other ones, they grew up with me, and they're a bunch of liars. Okay? Just so you know. And uh, Lane Newberry, okay? Charlie McConkey, okay? And... <laughs> hey, and I want to say something before I forget. Jordan Bowling, when he was named MVP, the reason he ran up to his mother is she's the one that had the credit card. <laughs> now, now, I'm not very smart, but if your son just won the MVP out, out of hundreds of basketball teams in a national tournament, what's the chances of you buying him something? <laughs> huh? That kid's smart. I want everyone to know that Anthony Hilliard, he did not win all conference, he did not make all tournament, he did not make all American, but there's not a guy on this team and basketball fans that's out there that really knows the game knows that we would not have had the success we had if we did not have, we call him the big bopper stopper, okay? But I told him, I said, Anthony, you didn't get any individual honors. He said, coach, this is a team game and we won the national championship. So real quick, Anthony, anything? I just wanted to say thank you, coach. I want to thank y'all too, man, because we couldn't do it without y'all. And I just want to say I love my boys over here, man. I love them just like brothers, man. I appreciate, I appreciate everything y'all do. Love y'all. Now, uh, Sean Tate. <laughs> Everybody knows this guy is a, is a, is a national champion. And, and we knew it before it ever happened. 
But you're talking about a great man, a great leader, a guy that served the community. He won our our uh, our champions of character for our for our uh, for Southern States Athletic Conference, and he was honored out there at halftime one of the games because what he does in the community. He goes to a lot of things that people don't know about, and I have to tell him, I said, Sean, you got to back off. We got practice. We got things to do. Okay, but anyway, Sean Tate. Uh, first off, I want to say I'm shaking, not, not because I'm nervous, because I'm freezing out here. <laughs> so I'm going to make this real brief, but first off, I want to thank God, as, as always. I want to thank this crazy guy right here for giving me a scholarship and giving me a chance. Um, I want to thank all my guys for battling with me from day one. Coach Redmond, Coach uh, T.I., T.I. Jr., and I want to thank all y'all for supporting us from the beginning. And just like I said the other night when we got back on campus, I know even if we would have lost that national championship, y'all would still be out here. So I just want to say thank you. And, and now uh, everyone knows a lot about Ladarius Green, but does anybody know? Well, I'm just going to turn over to Ladarius. Ladarius? I scared him. He got scared. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Not a public speaker. Um, <laughs> first, we want to thank our families at home because uh, we spent a lot of time away from our families. Uh, want to thank them. Thank y'all, especially, because uh, we didn't think it was going to be a, such a big turnout. And there's so many people here. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. Hey, and now I, I want everyone to, uh, jo Dr. Swin or John Swin, he told me don't call him president anymore. So, hey, John, will you get up for a second? <laughs> Let's give a round of applause for the guy that started all this. Right here. Thank you very much. And I, uh, uh, and and the genius he is, he hired Derek Waugh. Where's Derek Waugh? Right here. Derek Waugh, right there. Best athletic director in the world, right there. All right? And I'll give you that 20 back. I don't need it. I don't need it that bad right now. And it has been a pleasure being your coach. They love playing for you. We appreciate your support. And we couldn't say thank you enough to uh, everybody. We'll be here all night. But most importantly, everybody know, a guy once told me the first step to success and happiness is gratitude. So tonight when you pray, if you don't mind, just say a little prayer for Dalton State and for everyone here, because in a lot of ways, everyone struggles in some form or fashion. But if you'll fight through those problems, you will find a blessing. I testify. Oh, amen. I want to take a moment to thank our, our mayor and council, uh, please stand if you could. Uh, Alderman Gary Cruz, Alderman Tate O'Gwen, Alderman George Sadasuk, Alderwoman Denise Wood, and last but not least, Mayor Mock. And mayor Mock is going to close us out with an unprecedented presentation. That's going to be a rough one to follow. I will say it takes bricks and mortar to build a college. It takes a community to build a great college. We're going to have a great college here. I'll do a couple of whereases first. We're going to uh, pro do a proclamation for Dalton State uh, basketball team. I want you players to stand as I read your names. Um, it begins with, whereas the Dalton State Roadrunners basketball team, through their hard work and dedication, clinched their season national cha championship on March 24, 2015 in Kansas City, Missouri, and whereas the Roadrunners championship team consists of players Jordan Bowling, Jameen, Jameen Burry, Ladarius Green, Anthony Hilliard, Dylan Smith, Sean Tate, Clint Bell, 
Raheem Mosley, Isaiah Massey, Preston Earl, Deshaun Ruffin, Jericho Williams, Nathan Terry, and their, and their success is led by coaches Tony Engel, Tony Engel Jr., John Redmond, and Athletic Director Derek Waugh. Now, therefore, it be resolved that I, Dennis Mock, Mayor of Dalton, Georgia, hereby recognize the Dalton State Roadrunners men basketball team for their, their NIAI National Championship win by proclaiming March 27th 2015 as Roadrunners Day and wish them continued success for many seasons to come. All right, you guys can you guys can sit down if it's warmer. First one I've ever got to do. This is great. I'm going to present a key to the, to the city this team. And presenting a key is like um, granting knighthood. <laughs> it recognizes great accomplishments, and it carries with it expectations that uh, you guys will continue to be ambassadors for the city of Dalton. Today, this key is for the NIA championship team, including the coaching staff and the entire athletic department. My hope is that this key will, as it's displayed at the school, will continue to represent and remind those who see it, the new bond and great relationship you guys have helped forge with the city of Dalton. Congrat congratulations and unending thanks for the entertaining season and tremendous pride you guys have brought to Dalton. Our very own NIAA, NIAI champions for 2015, the Dalton State Roadrunners. It's over. The key to the city was presented by Mayor Dennis Mock. You can see the crowd dispersing in the background. What a day has been during the Roadrunner victory lap here. That's right, but you know, Calvin, it is not over because we got another year coming up. They can win again. Hey, oh, clap. Uh, they you know, will. They're they going to be will. strong. Yeah, <laughs> and we love them. All right, a lot of people made all this possible. We thank all of y'all that are with us all during all the tournament broadcasts and all the events we've done here on WDNN and TV6. And yep. a lot of the people bringing this tonight are... Uh, right, the City of Dalton, premier sponsor here tonight, Caldwell Bankers, Canard Realty, Carpet Express, Dalton Plastic Surgery, First Bank of Dalton, Greater Dalton Chamber of Commerce, Hamilton Sports Medicine, Hamilton Spine Health and Sport, Miraville Jewelers, Carpets of Dalton and Furniture of Dalton, Jewelry Exchange, Julian Peoples Funeral Home, Oakwood, and Opulate. Thank you so much for making this possible. Tonight. Well, fantastic, because they're the people that make it all possible where you can see things on TV. We appreciate you. We appreciate the Roadrunners. We love the Roadrunners. Beat me. Call on everybody. Beat me. Beep, beep.